So apart from FO minus FS which generates 455 kilohertz, if we now carefully observe FSI is an unwanted signal uh, which has entered into the receiver. The signal is present at 1.91 megahertz and there will be adjacent frequencies to that. FSI minus FO, FSI is 1.91 megahertz minus FO is 1.455 megahertz and this difference comes out to be 455 megahertz. And because the output bandpass filter of the mixer, it is designed to be operated at 455 kilohertz, apart from FO minus FS, it will also select FSI minus FO as its output signal. Now let us assume that FSI equal to 1.91 megahertz is a valid radio station. Now if that's the case, that means if this signal is able to enter into the receiver, then uh, it might get demodulated and we may get sound output which is coming from the station of 1.91 megahertz. Even though my receiver is right now tuned to 1 megahertz, because 1.91 megahertz also generates the intermediate frequency of 455 kilohertz, the later part of the receiver after the mixer stage will not be able to differentiate between 1 megahertz and 1.91 megahertz because both are generating the same intermediate frequencies. Now, there will be two types of signals after the mixer stage. One signal will be around 455 kilohertz, but it will contain noise because it is coming from one megahertz uh, frequency, which is not a valid station. And second signal will also be present around 455 kilohertz, but this signal will contain a valid information because it comes from a valid radio station of 1.91 megahertz. No doubt, the strength of the signal coming from one megahertz will be very large compared to the strength of the signal coming from 1.91 megahertz because 1.91 megahertz as you can see has entered with very small amplitude but later on it will also get amplified and when we observe the sound output of the speaker we will hear a lot of noise which is coming from 455 kilohertz of one megahertz but at the same time we will also listen to a valid information signal which is coming from 455 kilohertz of 1.91 megahertz so you will listen to the mixture of noise and a valid radio station of 1.91 megahertz so we conclude that i can listen to 1.91 megahertz even when my receiver was tuned to 1 megahertz now this is something very important i repeat even when my receiver was tuned to 1 megahertz i can listen to 1.91 megahertz at the output side. Let us define what is double spotting. If I want to listen to 1.91 megahertz radio station, which is a valid radio station, then I will obviously tune my receiver to 1.91 megahertz. So one place on my frequency band where I can listen to 1.91 megahertz is the same frequency itself. If I want to listen to 1.91 megahertz, I will tune my receiver to 1.91 megahertz. But I can also listen to 1.91 megahertz when I tune my receiver to 1 megahertz due to the calculations that we just now worked out. And hence, I can conclude that 1.91 megahertz radio station can be listened to at one more place in the frequency band, which is 1 megahertz. This is called double spotting. So double spotting is nothing but the phenomenon in which one radio station is heard at two different places. And why it happens is because of the concept of image frequency. So why it happens is because when my receiver was tuned to 1 megahertz, a frequency of 1.91 megahertz also enters into the receiver, which should not have happened. We conclude that FSI of 1.91 megahertz acts as image frequency when the receiver is tuned to 1 megahertz. So let's discuss what is image frequency in the next video clip.